there are reasons these highly narcissistic people are attracted to you. And once you understand what those reasons are, you'll understand how to start shifting from a destiny filled with narcissists to a much happier, healthier future. My name is Christina, and this channel is dedicated to recognizing and breaking free from emotional abuse. If it's a topic that has touched your life, consider subscribing. And if you're in the stage where you're just figuring things out, I have a free resource on the stages of narcissistic abuse that you may find helpful. So you'll find a link for that in the description below. And now let's dive into the seven reasons you might be attracting narcissists. It's time to take back your power and attract the positive connections you actually deserve. So the first sign is you're highly empathetic. Narcissists tend to be drawn to people who are empathetic and caring. This is because narcissists see empathy as a weakness that they can take advantage of. They know that empathetic people are willing to give them the attention and admiration they crave. And empathetic people are much more likely to make excuses for the narcissist's bad behavior because those empathetic people are in the habit of understanding other people's perspectives, putting themselves into other people's shoes. So in order to make it make sense in this relationship with a narcissist, as a highly empathetic person, for example, you may excuse all of the narcissist's abuse because you know they've had a difficult upbringing. But it's not just the narcissists who are drawn to empathetic people. Sometimes, Empathetic people can be attracted to narcissists too. Narcissists can be charming and charismatic at first. Even the covert narcissist can have kind of a sheepish charm to them and it can seem really endearing. And the narcissist will usually seem very interested in the empathetic person. They can even mirror the person's interests and emotions, making that empathetic person feel like they have this deep connection. But if you've been there, you know that over time you'll start to feel drained unappreciated and manipulated because you are being manipulated. The narcissist's true character will eventually start to show and that true character is emotionally abusive and making their partner feel like they're always the problem in their relationship. This can make the empathetic person doubt themselves and lose their sense of self. Always pay attention to the people you allow in your space. Being empathetic is a wonderful trait, but it's dangerous when you don't recognize that someone's taking advantage of your kindness. And if anyone ever makes you feel like you're not enough, that's not a relationship worth saving. So another reason you may be attracting narcissists is that you have low self-esteem. If you can relate to this, and if you have low self-esteem, you're more likely to attract narcissists because you're more likely to crave external validation, which is interesting because narcissists also crave external validation, it just manifests in very different ways. So narcissists can be really good at making you feel special and important at first, which can be really alluring if you don't feel very good about yourself to begin with. But the problem is that narcissists only care about themselves and they'll do whatever it takes to get what they want, even when doing what it takes really hurts other people. And when they seem really interested in you, when they're showering you with affection, it really is nothing more than a means to get what they want. They want you to adore them and they want your attention and affection. And that can be extremely hurtful when you're on the other side and they're no longer making you feel special, but quite the opposite. So if you have low self-esteem, you might find it hard to set boundaries and stand up for yourself. And narcissists love that. They can sense this weakness and they're very likely to take advantage of it and of you. So the reason being with a narcissist can be especially damaged if you already have low self-esteem is because narcissists can make you doubt yourself and feel even worse. So if let's say average self-esteem is here and you start out here, after a narcissist, you're gonna end up here. So you're already starting at a deficit and a narcissist can push you down even lower. So if you relate to this, please know that you are worthy of love and respect and you deserve to be in a healthy relationship where you feel valued and appreciated. Try to take at least small steps every day to help you recognize your own value and build up your self-esteem so you can start attracting more positive, loving connection. So another reason you may be attracting narcissists could be an inability to set boundaries. 
So even if you feel like you don't have low self-esteem, if you find it difficult to set boundaries, that could be working against you here. So narcissists tend to push boundaries because it gives them a sense of control. So when a narcissist sees a boundary, instead of seeing it kind of like a stop sign, you know, you, can, you cannot go any further than this, they see it more like a door that's just slightly cracked open. And all they need to do is just push their way through it and they can get to the other side. And so if your boundaries are already a door that's slightly cracked open or hasn't been locked, it's gonna be really easy for them to get through. So if you can relate to this one and feel like you need to strengthen your boundaries, I'm gonna to link to a video that's going to be helpful for you. And I also have an entire module on boundaries in my Narcissist Immunity Bootcamp. So if you're interested in that, check the link in the description. So do you ever feel like you have a hard time saying no to people? Maybe you often put others' needs before your own, even if it means sacrificing your own happiness. If this sounds like you, you might be a people pleaser. Unfortunately, people pleasing tendencies can make you more likely to attract narcissists. And this is because narcissists like to get their own way. And people pleasers are very likely to put someone else's needs first. And to a narcissist, that's like the holy grail. They love that. That's exactly what they're looking for in every relationship. So if you're someone who likes to make other people happy and avoid conflict, the narcissist might see you as an easy target. They may even put a little extra pressure on there and make you feel like you're the only one who could make them happy. But we know narcissists truly only care about themselves, so they will eventually take advantage of your people-pleasing tendencies and make you feel like even though you're doing so much, you're doing more than anyone else would do in your situation they'll make you feel like you're still not doing enough. They might even push you to do things that you're not comfortable with or make you go along with whatever it is they want, even if you don't want to. And if you're a people pleaser, you probably find it hard to stand up for yourself and say no, even if you know the other person is treating you badly. So if you can relate to this one, know that you deserve to have your needs met in a relationship. You should not feel the need to sacrifice your own wants and needs and desires to make someone else happy. So with that, I'll say people pleasing, it is a trauma response and it's not that easy to overcome. You can't just say, okay, I deserve to be happy and boom, there we go, I'm gonna be happy. But please do try to give yourself permission to put yourself first at least sometimes. So another reason you may be attracting narcissists is that you know, overall you just have a more submissive personality. So this one has a lot in common with people pleasing, but there are some subtle differences and I'll say that they often go hand in hand. But if you have a more submissive personality, you kind of just like to go with the flow. You don't like to rock the boat. And unfortunately, this can make you more likely to attract narcissists. The subtle difference between people pleasing here is that you're not necessarily a people pleaser just because you have a more submissive personality. So you may not go out of your way to make other people happy. You may not care that much if other people like you, but you might have trouble speaking up for yourself and speaking your mind. So if you could relate to this one, again, it goes back to setting and keeping boundaries. And I want you to know that you have a right to do that in every single relationship, whether the other person likes it or not. So another reason you may be attracting narcissists is you have a history of codependency or you were raised in a dysfunctional family dynamic. So if you grew up in a home where there's addiction, abuse, neglect, or other dysfunction, you may notice patterns of codependency. And if you can relate to maybe having a savior complex or being a fixer or being a people pleaser or attaching your identity to a relationship, you probably have some codependent patterns. And codependency is a common byproduct of being raised in a dysfunctional family where you're taught to ignore your own needs and focus on the needs of others. Narcissists can and will always use this to their advantage. So when a narcissist encounters somebody who's codependent, they usually try to control them and make them feel like they need the narcissist in order to be happy. And the problem is that if you're codependent, you may already feel this way on some level, that you need this other person 
to be happy. So this relationship becomes incredibly dangerous for your emotional well-being. And the narcissist may even try to isolate you from your friends and family so that they can have more complete control. It can feel absolutely overwhelming to break this cycle, especially if you have a history of attracting narcissists. But start by reminding yourself that none of this, not any part of this is your fault. And you absolutely do deserve better. So the last thing I want to talk about today is that you may be attracting narcissists if you just simply have the positive traits that they find attractive. So for example, if you are successful, attractive, or well-connected, a narcissist may see you as a desirable target that they want to associate with. The bottom line here is that virtually anyone could be a target for a narcissist. However, if you don't identify with the other reasons we've discussed here today, you're not likely to put up with the abuse for very long. You may have noticed that boundaries are a key component of keeping the narcissist away. So this video right here is going to be the next step to help you become immune to the narcissist in your life. In this video, I share actionable tips for setting boundaries that stick. So watch that one and I'll see you next time.